Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. In the last video, we have discussed about the formal definition of a Turing machine. In this video, I will discuss about how to construct a deterministic Turing machine for a some long ways. Now we will see what is this long ways. The long ways consists of all the strings in the form of a power n, b power n, where n is greater than or equal to 1. What is the meaning? The number of a's should be equal to number of b's and the second one is that once you complete all the a's meaning is that once you have visited all the a's then if you find a b after that b there should be no a's. Is it clear? Meaning is that it should consist of a a b b. This is accepted because the number of a's are equal to number of b's and all a's are done then the once the b's are started there are no a's are followed. However, if you take this one a b a b the number of a's are equal to number of b's however once you got a b after that a is there it is not allowed so this string does not belongs to this long ways however it is belongs to the long ways is it clear so how we can construct a turing machine already for this a long ways we have constructed a push down automata now we will see how we can construct the turing machine now before constructing the turing machine i want to take a small example I have set of boxes or two boxes are there. One box consists of pens and another box consists of pencils. These two boxes I have given to a person X and I asked him whether the number of pens are equal to number of pencils. It's simple one. Okay. Let's take that this person does not know how to count. If someone knows the counting, he will count the number of pens and he will count the number of pencils. If both are equal, he will say that the number of pens is equal to number of pencils. But let's say that he does not know how to count it. Then what he will do? He will go to the open the box. He will open, take a one pen and he will let's say that he has marked it as A. Just one mark he has kept. And he opened a pencil box and opened a one pencil and he marked it as a B. Like that again he will go, he will take a one pen which is not already marked as a A and he will mark it as A. Again he will take a one pencil which is not marked as a B, he will mark it as a B. Like that he will repeat. Am I right or wrong? At last, let's take that he marked a pen and make it as a A. Okay. He taken a pencil but however he could not able to find a pencil which is not marked as a B. Meaning is that already all pencils are marked as a B. Then what he can he say? I have marked a pen however I could not able to mark a pencil. Then what he will say? The number of pens are not equal to number of pencils or he can say that number of pens are more than the number of pencils. Am I right or wrong? So this is where he will do. So the same way the Turing machine also will work. How it will work is that, let me discuss. Okay, I have A, A, B, B. So how it will work is that, take the first A, okay, mark it as X. Okay, then you go to the right hand side. Okay, you keep on moving to the right hand side. Once you got a first B, then mark it as Y. It's simple. Is it clear? The first A we have marked as X and keep on going once to the right side. If you get a B, you mark it as a Y. And once you mark it this as a Y, you keep moving to the left hand side. Till what? Till you find a X in it. Once you find a X, then go to the right hand side and find the next A. Obviously, if you have any A's left, after the X you will find a a. Again you mark it as X, you keep on moving till you find a first B and make it as a Y. So if you see that all A's I have marked as X, all B's I have marked as a Y. If I will keep on moving, I found a X. Is it clear? Then to the left hand side, then what I will do? I will search for a A. After X, if I find A, there is a A is there. If I does not find a A, then I will make it as what I can think I will find as a Y because if there are no more X's are there, 
So once you find a x, after that you will search for a a. If there are no a's, then meaning is that if you find a y here, then meaning is that all a's are completed. Then what you will do? You will keep on moving to the y's and if you find a blank, all the y's you will keep on moving to the right. You will keep them as a y's and you keep on moving to the right. If you find a blank, then what is the meaning? There are no B's are also there. So A's are already finished. If the B's are not there, then what you can say? The number of A's are equal to number of B's. Then you will keep it as a blank and you will accept it. Are you able to understand it or not? So meaning is that I am marking a A as an X and I am finding for a B and I am marking it as a Y. Again, I am finding for a A, marking it as a X and I am keeping it. The same way the person X has marked the pens and pencils. Now we will discuss with an or we will construct the Turing machine for it. Let's take that. Okay. Let me take A, 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 B, B, B and I have a blanks. I am in the state Q0. Okay. Which is my initial state. I have seen an alphabet A, tape symbol A. What I should do? I have to mark it as X. Okay, so I have marked it as X. Let me mark it as X. And he moved to the right. Okay, and went to the state Q1. So on a state Q0, and looking at the tape symbol A, he marked, he went to the Q1 and marked it as X and moved to the right. So tape symbol is pointing now here. Okay, now what should I do? I can find any number of A's, I will keep it as A and I will keep on moving to the right. Am I right or wrong? Because if after this A is modified as X, I can see in, if in this case I can see two A's. So it will be repeated two times. A's if I get it, I will make it as A and I will keep on moving to the right. What For what I am looking, I am searching for a B. If you find a B, okay make it as y mark it as y or modify it as y and move to the left why you should move to the left because you need to search for the next a so in this process you can find any number of a's okay you will make it as a's and you keep on moving to the left because when you are moving to the left you can find a a you can find a a but I need to find a X because this X I have modified, this A I have modified it as next this A I want to modify. So if I find a X, so I keep on moving to the left. If A is there, I will make it as A only and I will move to the left. This A, I will make it as A and I will keep on moving to the left. Now if I see a X, okay, if I see a X, I will make it as X and move to the right. Why should I do? Because if I see this x, I am not worrying about this x. After this x, any a is there or not, I am searching. So if it is x, I am making it as x, I am moving to the right. So I am here currently. Now again what I am doing? If I see a a, make it x and move to the right. So this a is marked it as to x and move to the right. If you find a a, Make it as A, move to the right. Okay, done. You reached here. Now you find here Y. So, if you find a Y, make it as Y, keep on moving to the right. Okay, are you able to understand it or not? Because in this process, you can find a Y. Here you found a single Y, but next time you will find two Y. So, that's why it should be repeated. If you find a Y, mark it as a Y and move to the right, meaning is that you are not modifying the tape. Okay, now once you find a B from Q1, if you find a B, mark it as Y. So this B, I marked it as a Y and keep on moving to the left hand side. Okay, now if you find a A, make it as A and move to the left. But in this process, you are here. If you move to the left, you will be here. You will not see a A. You can see any Y's. If you find a Y, make it as Y, you only keep on moving to the left. Are you able to understand it or not? Is it clear? 
you are here q1 is b marked it as a y and move to the left so you will see y is here not b's okay are you able to understand if you see a y you mark it as y and move to the left then this y it is y only i make it as y and move to the left i will see any number of years I, here in this example i can see a, a. one a i make it as a and move to the left then here i can find a x so that x i am making it as x move to the right so now my tape head is here so why if you see that this process is repeating so that's why i kept it in a loop again you find a a mark it as x so this a again is modified it as an x and move to the right then you cannot see any yes but however you can see the y's okay if it is a y keep it as y move to the right till what till you find a b if you see here you can find a b mark it as y and move to the left when you are moving to the left you can see the y okay if it is y keep it as y move to the left again you can see a y make it as y move to the left then you can see an x mark it as x move to the right move to the right means you are here am i right or wrong so then this process is done meaning is that the number of a's are finished now i need to check any b's are left out or not so how i will look at i am from this state because i have reached x on x i move to the right okay i move to the state q not so i am in the state q not and my tape head is pointing to the b so i will go to a state q3 how i will go if i find a y okay because obviously i will find a y you keep it as y move to the right are you able to understand if you find a y make it as y move to the right here you can see any number of y's because if you see here you can see another two y's so you will be in the same state okay again in q3 if you see another y keep it as y move to the right now here i'm done this one again move to the right i will be here and i'm in the state q3 now if i see a blank symbol okay then make it as blank move to the left either here you can move to the left or you can move to the right but my worry is that you should reach to the final state then it is accepted here it is q4 is a final state and it can be considered as a accepted state okay now you see what is happening here what you are doing you are marking the all the a's to the x and all the b's as a y and you are reaching here and once you have finished all the a's then you will see only the y's if you see any number of y's you will mark it as a y's and keep on moving to the right at last if you see a blank you keep it as a blank and move to the left so it will be pointing to here and you accept it now let's take an example the number of a's are less than the number of b's then what will happen if you see that first a i will mark it as x and i will search for the b and i will mark it as a y again i will search for a i i will mark it as x this b i will mark it as a y am i right and i will keep on moving to the left okay q on x so i will reach here x i will mark it as x and move to the right okay so i am here q not and my point tap tap means tape head is pointing to this y okay now y on y keep on moving to the right you make it as y and move to the right again you see a y make it as y and move to the right if you see a b here what i said if it is a blank keep it as a blank and accept it but however if you see a b then what it is does a given any transition from q3 on b what it should happen i did not given so it can be called it as a dead configuration suppose from any state if you does not have any move then we can say that it is going to a dead configuration or we can say that it is going to a reject state if it is from a q3 if you see a b then what is the meaning 
the number of a's is less than the number of b's because all a's you have marked as x now if you see a b then what is the meaning the number of a's are less than the number of b's or the number of b's are more than the number of a's then you should reject meaning is that from q3 you will go to a dead configuration state or you will go to the reject state if it is if you see a blank then only you keep it as a blank move to the left and go to the state called q4 even it will work for the number of a's is more than the number of b's there also it will reject if the number of a's are equal to number of b's then only it will reach to the q4 and accept it so i hope with this example you have understood how to construct a deterministic turing machine if you have any doubts on this video feel free to ask me in the comment section i will clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching my video have a nice day